We're gonna go out to Danielson, Connecticut today for a short cross country. It's 53 nautical miles away, so that's why we picked it. And uh, 172 winds doing well, so we're all right. We are gonna get a radio check here. Plymouth traffic, Cessna, set, uh, 8 X-ray Alpha, radio check please. Thank you, 8 X-ray Alpha. Tax is required. Already got it on. And we'll test the brakes on the way out. We have to be careful though, we have to go straight ahead. We have this, we parked right near, oh, I didn't park it, but they parked it right near the fence here with the tree. So we're gonna straight out. Brake good. Okay, we're gonna get away from this tree first. Okay, and now we're gonna turn to the left and we'll clear on the left. So again, we're gonna take off from 2-4. Slight crosswind if anything, but the winds are very, very close to calm here. They said variable the last weather report so we shall go with it and go from there we're good to go so without further ado we will call it Plymouth traffic says that 8 x-ray alpha departing runway 24 de uh, 24 departure to the west Plymouth traffic no one on downwind no one on base no one on final no one on crosswind here we go One thing I found out today is that the chair in this one, the 172 in here at least, it does not require me to have the cushion because I, I can crank the seat up enough to where it needs to be. So, do a slight correction to our right on the ailerons for the crosswind. We get in the middle here. Again, rotate at 55, climb at 73. Want to double check that? It's been a while. We're good. Alright, with that, we're ready to go. Here we go. Yeah, I trimmed this one a lot too, compared to the other one. But it's cool. We're up in the air, we're good to go. And everything's looking good. <clears throat> we're going to depart straight out. And just keep an eye out for traffic as we go. Okay, we're at the power lines, so we're good there. We're not quite at pan altitude yet, though. I like to get to pan altitude before I make any type of decisions on what I'm doing. Climb to 4,500. ADSB is working. Keep climbing for a little bit. Make sure we're good. Right around right as well I'm set. I might just go to Promise Approach, which I also have 128.7. And uh, make this happen. The launch is working and everything. Okay, we're gonna climb at like 80 ish. So I have some vision over the hood and uh, enhance engine cooling. We're also going to turn more on course right now, 280. <clears throat> and also check that compass again. Got some clouds out there, but it said we should be good, so we will uh, keep an eye on that <clears throat> and go from there. So... We're also going to intercept our direct course here. Two thousand four hundred feet. Get 
to 3,000 feet. All right. We're getting out of Plymouth's area. Once we do that, we'll switch to Boston approach. Right. You know what? I think we're good. Good. Hi, Ed. Uh, Bravo, right here, it's block 5173, I doubt. Boston approach, exec jet 639, out of 12-4, descending 1111,000, we have Delta. Exec jet 639, Boston approach, Roger, descend maintain to 5,000. Descend to 5,000, exec jet 639. And we're uh, leading up the mixture just slightly as we're over. Nine Bravo X-ray, radar contact 5 southwest of Hyannis, contact Hyannis Tower 119.5. 119.5, Bravo X-ray. Bravo X-ray, Hyannis Tower 119.5, Bravo X-ray. Boston approach, November 738, X-ray Alpha. Air 396, traffic 12 o'clock, 5 miles southeast down, a uh, Piper 2900. Alright, what's the CS 396? 51 November traffic, 2 o'clock, 7 miles northbound, twin south south 3200. Skyhawk 05 X ray contact venue tower 1 to 1.4. Alright, let's try Providence. Delta. Delta, 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 Taunton will be at my first checkpoint in around 13 minutes, but I'm more worried about approach right now, so let's uh, fly a little bit more towards Taunton, and then we'll contact Providence Approach for flight following. Air Force 7 is uniform, Providence departure, radar contact. Okay, we're going to try to level out 4,500, let's build some speed still. Air Force 7 is uniform, proceed on course. All right, north of Asimov at Mont. Hotel, just um, verify you're maintaining VFR at about 3,500. Now we'll head to 7. That's uh, zero, zero Hotel, Roger, Bronx, 23018, I show you at 3,200. That's it, we should be mostly on course. Lost my DG. Yeah, November right. 81 Sierra, contact the Bedford Tower. Province approach November 738, X-ray Alpha. There was 219 with Sierra State destination only. Keep getting steps on. There was 219 with Sierra, Spawn 0456 via VOR from request. Who else will call in? November 738, X-ray Alpha. There's 738, X-ray Alpha, standby. Roger, standby. November 837, contact, Quonset Tower. 738, X-ray Alpha, Quonset 0457. 0457, says it, uh, says it, X-ray Alpha. 738, X-ray Alpha, radar contact, 7 miles uh, west of Plymouth, Crown, South Center, 3017, state destination, then type aircraft. Uh, destination is Kilo, Lima, Zulu, Delta, and type aircraft is 172, request by phone. Never mind, yeah, X-ray Alpha, Roger. And I'm with Sierra, radar contact over North Central Providence, Alpha around 3017, has jet traffic, I'm out of Providence, you can expect the uh, vectors for the VOR. You're asking me to be 86 knots, that's where both were expecting. And it will be delaying vectors, turn off heading uh, 100. All right, we're just about on time here. We got nine and a half minutes. So we're going to be ahead a couple of minutes, which is understandable because I estimate for climb time 1,000 feet for one minute for every 1,000 feet. And we're trying to trip this out so we stay at 4,500, which it will. Uh, maneuvering speed around this is 97, so we're staying right around there too. Something I... Air shuttle 6177, from the approach, Bravo 3017. More cognizant of, from a fellow pilot on there. Air 37 Romeo, contact Boston approach, 133.75. Mm. There we go, we got one cloud in front of us, and a ring of clouds out there. But, uh, yeah, we're looking good. The end has some kick to it, though, I'll tell you that, too. And, uh, it also has... Airport 900, Hotel, VFR, off to your discretion. 
it also has big tanks. We have about uh, 50 gallons of gas on board, so that's five hours of flying or so. I went with full fuel tanks because I always do. If I can carry it, I, I do it. So, very clear day. Towing right off to our left now, and I uh, got about 11 minutes, so that's what we're going to call it. I'll put that in my flight log. Out pretty good, you know, it's down just a little bit. All right, that means I'm going to be 18, 23, kind of first Sega. There's six, seven, one, five, out for Roger. <laughs> Very good. And that cloud's off to my left, so 2,000 feet away, we are good. It's weird that there's one cloud and then it's clear <laughs> But regardless, we still have to keep our distance, so. Alright, next checkpoint will be Attleboro, and we should get there in about 7 minutes. So Attleboro, 7, I'm going to turn more on course again, I just wanted to make sure I had enough clearance on that cloud. And, uh, should be good. And Providence is right in front of us, beautiful sight. My home is right down there, so we're very close to the house right now. Seven sixty-one seventy-seven. Roger, maintain visual separation from that traffic. Just going to maintain two thousand one hundred. Providence Airport, nine o'clock, five miles. And again, we're just trimming as we go. Again, this one seventy-two in. It feels like it's more narrow <laughs> in, the, in the cabin here, but uh, do what we can. Taunton River, right off to my left. You can see everything today. Very glorious, majestic sight. That's why I like to use the word majestic. And, uh. Air Shuttle 6177, we're Sorry, uh, coordinating some airspace. Your clear visual approach rolling 23. That could be the uh, temporary flight restriction down there. Restricted, if you will. They're doing some type of military thing down there near uh, Montez Vineyard. Attaboro coming up. Right over there, actually, you can see it. Roger, Harper. Right on the prop. Props you can't miss, guys. November 9, Whiskey Sierra, you're 6 miles on the final approach risk. Turn right, heading 250, maintain VFR, cleared VOR, runway 23 approach. Out of bar at 18, we're going to call November her. 172, Sierra, Juliet, clear direct, Bonnie Hold southwest as published, maintain 2000, expect further clearance, 1630, time now 1603. All right. Next checkpoint is North Central Airport. That's in five minutes. It's not much, but this isn't a long flight either. So, North Central, five minutes. Again, out of bar off to our right. And problem is off to our left. November 2081 Sierra, problem is approach right on. FTF green off to our left. Four one vector contact approach one one nine or point four five. Believe it or not, we're almost halfway there. Zero eight one Sierra one. No, it's central. Be off on our right. We can actually see it right over there. No two zero eight one Sierra. Providence approach. Ida and Providence South Center three zero one seven. Just notice that the transponder gives you the pressure alt altitude as well. So that's pretty cool. Not used to seeing that in the 157. Five seven alpha contact approach four one nine or point four five. <laughs> November six seven one five alpha Providence. Beautiful set of Providence. I love it when I fly over Providence. Again, this is my own. Southwest twenty one seventy clear direct high. Stomping rounds. So. November one with Pete Finger, radar contact three miles north of Newport, Prop Top Seven Three Zero One Seven One Altitude. Are you climbing to? Okay, that's where we take a look at the clouds and we see what we can do here. All right, so that added three minutes. So again, I think that's because we have a little bit of a headwind here. Southwest Twenty One Seventy, contact tower one two zero point seven. And uh, go to the left here for this cloud. Just to make sure I'm clear. Oh, it's approach, says that I need x-ray up, uh, 
request. We wanted to send down the 2900 cloud clearance. November 8X Ray Alpha, be far off due to your discretion. At my discretion, 8X Ray Alpha. 018 with Healy Mod, 4 Ominous, 0431. So I'm not going to take chances with these clouds. I'm probably right about 500 feet, but we're almost there. I got to descend anyways, so we might as well just start the descent now towards Danielson. And that will be the smarter option. So we're at uh, 2100 RPMs. So we're going to do a cruising descent down. It's more like an elongated descent down to uh, Danielson. So. I want to see Lima from the first one, from the 30117. I did not follow the flight plan back to Plymouth yet because I wanted to see the status of the clouds. Now that I see it, I'm probably going to file for 3,500 so that I can stay underneath this. And I will do that. We're, gonna, we're actually going to turn off the aircraft there and get Daniel sitting and then we're going to just get everything situated there and then head way back. So. At November 1-8, Whiskey Lima, we're trying to uh, get the flight plan up right now. You're cleared to one Papa One Airport via Gardner direct uh, destination. Danielson, Connecticut has two runways, 31013, so we're also going to get that weather in there. Airport 900 Hotel, Roger, report back on frequency. 119er, point one two five. Again, we're enriching the mixture as we get there closer. But we are 16 nautical miles out. November 21 Echo Tango, Providence Pro, Toronto, Southern 3017, say destination. Keep an eye out for Danielson. Everyone echo, thank you, Roger. Yeah, a little bit of wind. I'm not getting any weather here. Air 706, Whiskey Romeo, Providence, departure radar contact, climb to request of VFR, I'll proceed on. I have to, I'll get Willow Mantix, maybe Windham's weather. 1, 3, 9, Whiskey, Sierra, Fox, Lucia, Miss Approach, maintain VFR audible at 2000. Fly the runway heading, contact me on this frequency. And of them are 849er, I'm in now to maintain 3,500. Traffic, uh, 12 o'clock and 3 miles west on a Cessna 1782, 3,000. That's me. All right. Sorry, with Helima, contact Boston, uh, from 119er, point zero. Just a little bit more there. Uh, had altitudes about 1250 at Danielson. And we are still a good... Air 7570, uniform, Providence, Southwest, Southwest, 3017, destination. Mixture full rich. Roger. Sure. Personal aircraft pressure jumping commencing over Daniel, so one minute one zero thousand. Yeah, that's the other thing we gotta worry about is jumping at Danielson. November 8 X ray alpha, traffic or traffic twelve o'clock one mile, south eastbound at two thousand four hundred. Look at the traffic, says an eight X ray alpha. And no reserve their hotel traffic no factor now. Traffic in sight, says an eight X ray alpha. Ray alpha traffic no factor. Roger, the x But he's there. <laughs> Not no, 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 more five, than five, one zero. Sky condition clear. Zero zero five, Roger, thank you. There are two Sierra Juliet's and uh, you can continue in, but I'll maintain two thousand. I have to get approval. Zero one seven inches of mercury. Alright, that's Danielson's weather there, so we finally got it. Quicker, do you want to hand off for termination at the boundary? Automated weather observation, 1617, Zulu. Wind, 2, 7. November 1, Whiskey Tango Raider, circle, premier, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, Danielson Air Force. Number 8X Ray Alpha, radar service, Terminator 12, 1200, frequency change proof, be advised, parachute jumping commencing now. Zulu. Roger, and aware of the jumpers, 8X Ray Alpha, thank you. November 5, Papa Golf, contact approach, 120. Sky condition, clear, below. Alright, OB 31, runway 31. But we gotta look up for the jumpers. Jumpers over Ellington, use caution. We gotta look for the jumpers here. So I'm gonna do a wide turn to the right while I get to pattern altitude, and then I'll call out, because that would be the ideal thing to do right now. Mixture full rich, just double checking. Now Mansfield trying to get it to us, presently 7 miles to the southwest, uh, winter runway use of the morning. Danielson traffic, Cessna 8 X-ray Alpha, 7 miles to the east. I'm going to set up a uh, uh, left 45 for runway 31, Danielson. 
But we're gonna do a roundabout around the airport. Again, just to make sure that we have this traffic in the... Okay, seven caravans on high entry to the left downwind, 3-1, three, three miles out. We'll get out. Transfer speed. Okay, we're going transverse north of it and then uh, land there. Damn, the traffic on is on a 4 mile 45, 3-1, three, damn. Again, I'll report where I'm north of the airport. <coughs> Danielson's heavy on the, uh... Dense traffic, says that heat, X-ray Alpha, five miles north of the airport. We're, uh, transitioning to the south to set up a 45 from runway 31, Danielson. Uh, just be aware, jump is out on the, uh, end of one three. Roger that, so I need that trail. The airport's there. Just uh, keep an eye out for traffic. That's the biggest thing right now. I don't want any problems with anything here. Which is why we went such a roundabout way around the airport. Better have a visual than just say, oh, I got this and go right in. At least for me. So we are... Uh, Almost west of the airport. Yeah, so traffic, sir. Q395, Mike Tango, left cross 132 for departure. I'm going to stay out here in case there's any departing traffic. Get this thing to descend more. Just doing a fine job, just going very gradual. Only about five, 400 feet above where we need to be. Danielson traffic says an 8 x rate out about 4 miles to the northwest and we're going to set up a 45 for runway 31. Danielson. Block Island traffic, Skyhawk 9934, Quebec is uh, 5 miles to the west of the field inbound for touching go runway 10, Block Island. Alright, for traffic, Cessna 42, you have a good time. We're Alpha Fox, approximately 10 minutes out, inbound, picking up uh, passengers, no services. Okay, looking pretty good, yeah. Mansfield traffic, Husky's on a 2 mile, 45 entry, left down with 2-2 in the grass, Mansfield. We're gonna head up to the south here, yeah. and then we're gonna come in at a 45, keep an eye out for anything that might be out there. So. Getting down to pattern altitude right about now. So far the setup is good. Let's hope it goes that way with the landing. I don't mind taking that little circle around the airport just to get an idea of what the traffic's like. I think that's a smarter thing to do than just barrel in there like I said. Danielson traffic says that need X-ray Alpha 2 miles out the 45 for runway 31. Danielson. Mansfield traffic, Husky turn on the left base, 2 2 in the ground, Mansfield. The glider on the runway at Daniel. Roger, I'll be looking for you, says the heat next to Alpha. So they probably have to tow that off the runway, but we'll keep an eye out. Clear on my left here, no jumpers in sight. Okay, turn uh, downwind pretty soon. Clear on the left still. Danielson traffic, Sensor 8, X-ray Alpha, left downwind runway 31. Have the glider in sight, so I will uh, deviate if I have to. Okay, car feed on, back to 17. Under 110. Okay, that's cool, looks like it's a good checkpoint there for a turn on base. Right where we should be. Yeah, 
It is a traffic lighter, Husky departing runway 31, Danielson lighter and so. Okay, turn. Base. Ellington traffic, two best fires parachute jump over Ellington, 4,000 feet below, use caution over Ellington. Connecticut, everybody. It's uh, one of the eastern airports in Connecticut I wanted to get to. And uh, the apron's right over here on the left, so I'm going to try to find some place. I'm just pulling in here. I'm going to go over here for a second. That's where I'm going to go. Park here, turn off the engine, and get everything situated for our return. Mags off, master off, lights off. There's a glider taking off here in Danielson. Pretty cool. See they're guiding it. Let's take a look at it. Here we go.
like I said, there's not much here in Danielson, but there is skydiving and also gliders. So you have to be wary of that when you come in here. Again, that's stuff that you see on the sectional and also like the nodals and stuff like that. But all in all, it's a good ride. Lots of wind socks here to guide you on your way. And very interesting. I'm going to stick around and see if I can see the uh, skydivers come in or not. And then uh, if I can't, I gotta go because I filed the flight plan to start around 1.15 local time and head back to Plymouth. I have the plane till 4, so we should be fine either way, but I kind of wanted to go back there and have enough time for everything. But I will try to get video of skydiving if I can. Okay, and here's November 738 X-ray Alpha. I'll arrive for today at 172N. And I left the control lock off only because I'm gonna get back in there sooner and the winds aren't that bad. But, uh... See if we get a shot down the road right here. There's just some hangers down there and stuff. Yeah, so that's pretty cool, huh? Let's we'll get a nice little shot here. Pretty cool. Another glider on the field. And then uh, we have the apron here, of course. 738 X-ray Alpha. We got skydivers. <clears throat> so we're starting to see them. That's pretty cool. So that's what they also have at Danielson. Skydiving and parachuting. Pretty cool. Went right over us. I didn't even see them. It was like a last minute video take. All right, last plane before we start our uh, planning for our departure here. But uh, Danielson was pretty cool. Got a lot of activity here. I'll give you that this Saturday. And uh, I can't say I'm going to be back anytime soon. I did this more for the cross country time. But uh, nice little airport. I believe that's the skydiving plane, so they must have. That must have been for the paratroopers of the saw. Good time for all. Danielson Airport, Danielson, Connecticut. Animated right. weather observation, 1-7-0. At 8 knots, visibility more than 1-0. Sky like condition broken, broken at 5,000. Really broken at 6,000. Temperature, 1-8 Celsius. Dew point, 5 Celsius. Altimeter, 3-0. one six inches of mercury. Alright, with that, the winds are still coming from uh, the left a little bit. They're uh, picked up a little bit, but not that bad, 16 knots, so we should be able to do this. And uh, sky divers, jumpers, whatever you call them, they're uh, packing them up again. So they, they, they're like non stop here, which is cool. Um, let's get my comms ready to go. And we're going to have an aileron correction to the left here a little bit. Rotate a 55 climb at 73. traffic, Husky is... Here we go. Landing three more on the stop. One thing about the 172 and it takes a little bit more back pressure than normal to get this thing going. So... There we go. That's the final Canyon set 3 1 on the ground. And we're looking for any traffic out here. We'll get to pan altitude and then we'll take a left 45. Okay. And then we'll be on our way to. Are we heading for the stop field? Big way. Pan altitude. Look at my left. We're clear on my left. 45 out. And Tanner Hill in traffic, uh, 6 1 Delta Alpha is uh, downwind, uh, runway 24. We start climbing at 80 knots. Okay, heading should be about 9, 9 or 9 or. <clears throat> so we will uh, head that way now that we're at 2,500 feet. Again, we're going to stay at 3,500, and we're also going to contact Providence Approach at 123675, so we'll get that ready. 
Good. Keep on Danielson for now until we get out of the area. Okay, traffic, uh, Skyhawk 4818 Delta is 11 miles to the east, uh, straight in for runway 26, 18 Delta, or uh, Laconia. Danielson traffic, Cessna 8 X-ray Alpha transitioning south of the airport at 3000, going to depart to the east, Danielson. Mansfield traffic, Dakota 11 Juliet, final 32, Mansfield. Providence approach, November 738, X-ray Alpha. Calling approach, standby controller, change of progress. Roger, 8 X-ray Alpha. Aircraft calling for flight following, Sagan. November 738, X-ray Alpha. We are uh, seven miles out to the east of Danielson and requesting flight following. We're en route to Kilo Papa Yankee Mike at 3500, type 172. Cessna 8X Alpha, squawk 0473, and I guess. 0473 and I then, 8 X-ray Alpha. Got some of that wind again. November 738 X-ray Alpha, radar contact 15 miles west of the Providence Airport. Providence altimeter 3015, stay altitude. Uh, we are currently at 3600 for 8 X-ray Alpha. Thank you. Beautiful sights though, huh? I think they are. Again, we're out being one of those weird states where if you're high enough, you can practically see the whole state. So. Rod 18 Heavy, fly heading 280, vector from Boston's airspace. Heading uh, 280, Rod 18. Providence, Rhode Island, out there. November 901, Romeo Golf, contact Bradley, approach 119.0. Yeah, airport out there, that's the major airport. Romeo Golf, thanks. North November 915, maintain 7,000. Okay, 7,000, November 915. Yeah, same great sites, got Providence. Uh, East Providence over there, Plymouth out in the distance. Plymouth is still a little hard to see, but we're far away still. But North Central off our left here at our 10 o'clock. And uh, that will be our first checkpoint. of the things you remember. Remember the time you flew over Providence and it was cool. And again, Rod I wanting heavy fly heading 330, short vector for parachute jump activity. You can expect direct destination in about uh, 15 miles. All right, Attleboro, right over here. And I have almost 19 minutes, so that would be correct. Again, these winds are playing with my trim, but uh, it'll be okay. Our right, next checkpoint is Taunton, and that will be in six minutes. And Taunton being the airport, I might be as my home base if I ever get an aircraft. All right, uh, Taunton, 26. It's a 25, yeah, you know, it's comparable. It's only a minute off. So I hope they have some friends up here as passengers towards the end of this month. We'll see if the weather cooperates. And Plymouth is my next checkpoint in seven minutes. Once I get a visual, I will uh, make sure I'm good and then I'll cancel flight following. That's actually right in front of us. You can't miss it. There's an aircraft in front of us at a thousand. Seven hundred seven three eight X now. That changed to advisory. Frequency is approved and squawk the advised. Question multiple targets in the vicinity of the Plymouth Airport. Altitudes indicate two thousand two hundred and below. Have a good day. Roger. Thank you. Eight X-ray Alpha. Squawking VFR. One two two seven five. Heading there we go, we got Plymouth on there, we'll start our cruising descent now. And right in front of me, just gotta look out for any traffic. Plymouth Municipal Airport, automated weather observation. One seven the four three, 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 three Zulu. Wind zero niner zero at zero niner. Visibility zero niner zero at niner. Probably still doing two four. Uh, we do one five because we. I mean, uh, all right, zero niner. That means we're six actually. I'm sorry. Hello, runway six, which is available. 
so we should be good. Plymouth is on there. You know, I still write down the sea tap for everything, even though I've done my training here. And we still have a descending, uh, cruising descent down. Make sure it's going full rich. See that we're almost at 3,000. Put the traffic, has an 8 X-ray Alpha. Uh, nine miles to the east, I mean west, excuse me. Nine miles to the west. We're going to transition to the north to set up a 45 for only six. Plymouth. Plymouth Skyline, left down, one six. Plymouth traffic from St. Zero left midfield, one way to come back. This was at least someone is below me here, so I have to be careful. On the ADSB at least it's showing. But I don't see them, so I'm only uh, looking for them either way. So, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna just even out here. Now we're turning base, then I go for Tango Whiskey. Congo 2 Victor Whiskey, off my left right. wing, got you inside. I got him, I got him. Roger, have you in sight too, ADX Ray Alpha. Very high still, so. Cessna 249 is uh, entering downwind at a 45. We're looking for ADX Ray Alpha. ADX Ray Alpha is three miles to the north, and we're trying to get down to set up a 45 in the runway 6 plummet. Uh, I think we're in front of you, uh, it's 249, and we're just about, we're turning downwind right now for our uh, six plummet. Roger, you're definitely in front of me, ADX Ray Alpha. Plymouth traffic, Cessna, 8 X-ray Alpha, 2 miles out in the 45, have traffic in downwind on site. Got some strong winds out here, boy. Okay, we're good. Plymouth traffic, Cessna, 8 X-ray Alpha, left downwind, runway 6, number 2, for landing, Plymouth. Uh, Plymouth traffic, Cessna 249, turning base 6, Plymouth. Alright, looking good. We got 249 in front of me. I like that plane. We don't want to do anything wrong to that plane. Okay, car beat on. 1700. 110. Pull the traffic. Cessna 249 turning final. 6 pull it. Plymouth traffic. Type of cup. 3 miles out entering a 45 for downwind 6 Plymouth. Waiting for them to cross my wing there. Yeah, Good. Phone traffic, uh, thank you, whiskey's clear to you. I'll extend it slightly. Okay, right about here is my visual little thing there. Alright, we're on the left. Right where we should be speed wise. Maybe even just a little tad slow, but not that bad. Okay. Pick up that wing, 7 to 1500, and 20 degrees as long as we're good. We are. Angle down. Plymouth traffic says at 8 X ray Alpha left base runway 6. Plymouth. Clear on the right. Okay, start our turn. Clear on the left. Speed's looking good. Setup is looking decent. This traffic says the taxiing runway 6. Plymouth. Plymouth traffic up downwind 6. Plymouth. Throttle outs are a little fast. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Plymouth traffic says at 8 X-ray Alpha final runway 6. Plymouth. Plymouth traffic 249 is clear 6 points. Got throttle out. I'm very high. I might go around. Let's see. Yeah, we're okay. We can do this. I'm going to be a little fast. Flaps up, car feet off, and we'll go into the next one. Plymouth traffic, top turn and base, 6 Plymouth. Plymouth traffic, system 144, well, fucks up. Finally, the part around me, 6 Plymouth.
Plymouth traffic, Cessna 8, X-ray Alpha, clear of runway 6, Plymouth. Nice. That's a lot of waiting traffic at runway six. There's at least one, two, three, five aircraft there. Just want to say thank you for watching and remember to push that subscribe and like button, the thumbs up there. Uh, also look out for any uh, simulator flights that we do on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch. Eric Flight is on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Eric Flight. One word, lowercase. And uh, yeah, thank you for joining me for today's flight to Danielson, Connecticut. Have a wonderful day.